true adventurers make it the purpose of their lives to overcome obstacles. Luckily, this life creed aligns with engineers, who despise limitations just as much and eventually come up with machines that push the frontiers ever further. Today we'll look into the newest amphibian vehicles that combine capabilities for multiple dimensions of extreme recreation and work. So subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the incoming reviews. We cover cars, EVs, motorcycles and some of the world's weirdest vehicles. Enjoy the ride! Atlas ATV Instead of shamelessly copying the already iconic off-roader Sherp, this Ukrainian creation attempts to address the downsides of its predecessor. The Atlas is 20 inches longer and sits up to 12 passengers. The ride is much plusher, and since the levers are replaced with a traditional steering wheel, the vehicle might earn the road legal status in some jurisdictions. The startup implemented a patent-pending air suspension with vibration dampeners, 4x4 all-wheel drive, differential lock and all-wheel steering, which makes the turn radius smaller than a passenger car. With the fully inflated wheels, the ground clearance reaches 23 inches. Plus, one should not worry about the flat tires, since the pressure is always maintained via the automatic exhaust fumes inflation system. The heart of the Atlas is one of the world's most popular engines. Renault Nissan's 1.5-liter turbo diesel K9K with 90 horsepower and 162 pound-feet. Measly, you say? Well, it still manages to push this 2.2-ton giant to 37 mph on the roads and 4.3 in the water. Amphi Cruiser The Land Cruiser moniker has always been associated with superior off-roading capabilities. And now, thanks to the Dutch amphibious transport company, the legendary Toyota becomes seaworthy. The Amphi Cruiser is available in three modifications – Rescue, Worker and Adventure. While the first two are made for flood rescue missions and commercial use, the Adventure is the ultimate exploration tool that can take your company of five to the edge of the world. This amphibious vehicle is based on the Cruiser HC-J79, but it has an aluminum and fiberglass body for lightness and waterproofing, plus stainless steel underbody protection. The vehicle is offered with two diesel, one petrol and one electric powertrain, a partial four-wheel drive system and a 100 horsepower Almarin jet for water propulsion. On the road, it can develop the maximum speed of 87 mph, but when moving through the water, the speed drops to 5.6 miles per hour. Storm MPV Revealed at this year's IREX Defense Expo in Abu Dhabi, the Storm MPV is an armored tank concept that is propelled by hybrid power. The model is planned for production in cooperation with the Stride Group in the United Arab Emirates, but it was designed by the Ukrainian R&D company Highland Systems that specialize in military off-roaders and submarines. The Storm's angular body maximizes ballistic protection and features the Stanek Level 1 or 2 armoring. There are tracks instead of wheels, while the power comes from a diesel hybrid drivetrain that peaks at 2500 horses. On electricity alone, the tank can travel for three and a half hours, but in the hybrid mode, your mission can last up to 36 hours. The team can consist of six people. The speed reaches 87 miles per hour on land and 19 on water. Plus, the maximum payload is quoted at 7700 and 4400 pounds, respectively. Smash the like button if you want to see more unorthodox reviews on our channel and leave a comment below saying I want more. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Fat Truck Canadian terrains are just as tough as the ones in the Eastern Europe and Northern Asia, so the native Zell Motor Inc. chose to design and build their own ATV based on the popular concept. This amphibian is sold in the classic body 2.8C with the front door entry, and a 2.8P that reminds a pickup truck. The Fatty's cabin is made of aircraft-grade aluminum, while the underlying chassis and exoskeleton are steel. The passenger truck has a nearly perfect cube shape, with the 7 plus the driver capacity and such creature comforts as a roof-mounted AC, LED light bars, a winch and a cold-weather kit. The off-roader utilizes a 2.2-liter inline four-cylinder turbo diesel from Caterpillar with a peak 67 horsepower and 153 pound-feet. 
The fed truck is controlled via joystick and its ultra-low pressure tires ensure the following capabilities. 25 mph land speed, 3 mph water speed, and finally, the ability to overcome 35% up and downhill inclines. Iguana Yachts X100 White Edition In addition to effortlessly performing her main function, which is cruising on water, the X100 from the Normandy-based Iguana Yachts can easily drive out of it and travel on land. This is made possible by her all-train tracks, that are extended once the boat reaches shoal. The system took Iguana 10 years to develop, and it can propel the X100 to 4.4 mph. Once the tracks are retracted, the yacht sails at 58 mph speeds, ensured by the two 300 horsepower outboard engines. The model has a carbon fiber composite hull, her deck is large enough to comfortably accommodate 12 passengers, and the payload is capped at 4,630 pounds. Finally, the yacht eliminates boarding accidents, allowing passengers to embark or disembark on the shore using a stable and sturdy ladder. Argo Sherp Pro XT As a part of the joint effort to bring the original amphibious fat tire ATV to North America, Sherp collaborated with the Canadian Argo. This market-specific version of the truck will be marketed in four configurations with a unique Argo-developed orange color scheme. As before, the funky off-roader is powered by a Doosan 1.8-liter diesel three-cylinder that can operate in extreme temperatures. It puts out 55 horsepower and 140 pound-feet via six-speed manual transmission with the chain-driven transmission drives placed into oil baths, contributing to low maintenance requirements. The Pro XT is a compact modification of the Sherp, with 86 inches wheelbase, class leading 26 inch crown clearance, and 2600 pounds of payload capacity. Controlled via joystick and levers, this extreme terrain utility vehicle can drive at 25 miles per hour on flat surfaces and reaches 4 mph in the water. Z Triton 2.0 Northern parts of Europe are crazy about their bicycles, so the Latvian design studio Zoltini has come up with a contraption that would be able to perform three duties – a tricycle, a camper, and a boat. The all-in-one amphibian is built on a tubular frame with a larger front wheel and two 24-inch rear wheels. The latter are equipped with the two 250-watt motors, integrated suspension, and hydraulic brakes with a parking lock. The Z Triton can transport and sleep two travelers, and its battery capacity would be sufficient enough to cover 44 miles of range. On land, it can develop 25 miles per hour speeds, and once you're ready to cast off, a few simple motions turn the Z Triton into a boat with side buoys for stability. Propulsion on water is handled by an outboard engine, while the wooden cabin has interior lighting, cooling, heating, GPS, USB ports, and a fold up kitchen table. Strida 600C Labeled as a catamaran, the latest creation of the New Zealand's Strida Marine offers more interior space than most boats of its size and debuts the brand's new four-wheel drive amphibious system. The boat rides on the joint front wheels that increase lateral stability, while its rear wheels sit firmly on the sides. All four are brought into motion by a compact 40-horsepower gasoline engine that can push the boat to 5.6 miles per hour on land. There is also a traction control system to eliminate slip on wet sand. Once you hit the water and retract the wheels, the 600C is propelled by a single outboard engine rated for 200 to 350 horses, and it is sourced from Honda or Suzuki. Here the cruising speed is much higher, reaching 37 miles per hour. The model can be outfitted to carry six passengers, while its cockpit comes standard with a multifunction screen, displaying sonar, GPS, and engine management data. Mad Nomad ATV Joining the club of low-tire pressure ATVs is yet another startup from the Eastern European capital, Kiev, Ukraine. The Nomad was designed by the team of veteran officers and extreme sports enthusiasts. Therefore, the vehicle has some mad off-roading skills that would be perfect for rescue, geological hunting, and even military missions. 
The CTV puts to work a reliable Cummins 2.8-liter ISF turbo diesel engine with 129 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque that is controlled via six-speed manual transmission. The shell is made of composite material based on polyether, while low-pressure tires are equipped with two independent compressors. This vehicle can be enhanced with a climate control system, infotainment, 360-degree camera, winches, and powerful LED light bars. Plus, the interior can be fully wrapped in leather. Asus Amphibious Boat The Dubai-based Asus Boats is one of the world's largest manufacturers of rigid hulled inflatable boats. Among those, the company has a whole range of amphibious vessels that are offered under military, professional, and recreational lines. The models measure from 24 to almost 34 feet in length and share a couple of key features. These include easy one-man operation, fast deployment, and of course the ability to drive into any beach and access the shallowest waters. The latter is made possible by the Kiwi-designed and manufactured Orion Amphibious Drive system with four motorized, retractable, and steerable wheels. The setup is powered by an air-cooled Briggs & Stratton gas engine that makes 40 horses and produces 5.6 miles per hour speeds. In water, the propulsion is ensured by single or dual outboard engines, delivering from 150 to 800 horses. Equator P2 Excursion Under development for the past five years, the P2 Excursion prototype from the Norwegian startup Equator Aircraft has been flying the skies since 2018. It is an all-composite model with a float-wing design and a fuselage merged with a boat hull. The P2 Excursion seats a pilot and a passenger, can take off from water or asphalt, and can carry 484 pounds of useful load. It is also an all-electric model, powered by a 132 horsepower electric motor, fed by a 12 kWh battery located in the cabin and a smaller 6 kWh pack in the nose. The setup is expected to offer 124 miles of range, but for now, the seaplane can stay in the air for just 35 minutes. To increase the flight distance to 620 miles, Equator is currently working on a new range-extended powertrain that is based on the 77 HP Wankel rotary motor that will run on diesel or bio-based kerosene fuels. What is your favorite amphibian vehicle from the lineup? Did we miss some exciting rigs? Let's talk this over in the comment section below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell not to miss the incoming videos about the world's weirdest vehicles. If you haven't already, smash the like button and check out our playlists. The links are on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!